Hey, 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 everybody, this is Hunter, and today I've got an absolute treat for you. It is Forest River's top-of-the-line brand, the Riverstone Legacy. It also happens to be Riverstone's number one selling floor plan. Today I'm going to show you a nice quick tour of the 2022 Riverstone Legacy 39 RKFB. That stands for Rear Kitchen, Front Bath. So this floor plan is absolutely one of my favorites if you guys watched my videos before you know how much i enjoy the rear kitchen models i just recently did a sierra 39 bark which is also worthy of a checkout if you guys like floor plans you know just like this one but at a slightly less you know price tag as i said this is their top of the line brand so this thing is decked out it's the mac daddy something you are going to love and if you guys like RV videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for me. And if you would like any more information as far as specs uh, or equipment, make sure to check out that description. And in the description, you'll also find my email, which is hunter at the rvhunter.com. But let's go ahead and get this thing going. I'm going to spend probably about 10 minutes or so on the inside, a couple minutes on the outside, wrap this thing up in about 15. But uh, man, wow, you walk in, this thing is, it just feels nice. It feels different. You know, it's sturdy. You have the three inch thick walls, so the insulation is fantastic. Everything on this camper, you know, is absolutely beautiful and well thought out. But as I said, this is a rear kitchen front bath model. So I'm gonna go ahead and start from the rear and then work my way up towards that front bath portion. And this kitchen is one of the best decor kitchens, you know, on the market today, I personally believe. Nice, light, and bright. You had solid surface countertops, you know, all throughout this. You have the industry's largest oven. Backsplash made out of real tiles. Residential bulbs. And then check out that ceiling right there. You got some stamped metal. Just looking so nice. Let's see if I can give you a good view of that if it picks up well here on the camera, which it looks like it does. Even down to this, I'm not sure what they'd call it, like that wooden banister there. It just, it just looks really nice. Everything about this is sharp. So let's start right here, you know, with the sink. You got plenty of counter space all throughout. You have a double bowl, stainless steel bowl right here with a residential faucet. So boom, 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 you're good to go. Let's see if I can straighten this bad boy back out. Got a new gimbal, it's acting a little wonky on me. Right here, you got a little puck that you can open up. You have a garbage can that you can put down there with access on the outside door, which I'll show you here, you know, on the outside portion. But just to the right to the sink, you have this little bamboo cutting board, or you can use it as some extra counter space, some prep space. Boom, that snaps up just like that. So, nice feature. To get that back down, all you got to do is, you see this little pedal? You just push that, and then... On the other side, if you have two hands, obviously you do this at the same time. But you got another one right there and it lowers down nice and easy. So nothing cumbersome at all to that. Very easy, anybody can, you know, do that with one hand even. So you got a little place to put your brush right here. Underneath the sink, you have a dishwasher. So bada bing, bada boom, you got a dishwasher. How nice is that? Most fifth wheels, you're not gonna see something like that. Like I said, the industry's largest oven, you have the Insignia. And on this, it's gonna feature four stovetop burners. You got your big burners up front, your smaller burners in the back. And then check this out. You could fit a turkey in there, absolutely no problem. Couple chickens, you know, really you could cook for, you know, a meal for the entire family, you know, with, with zero issues, no hangups there. You got really nice accent lighting, which just adds kind of to the ambiance of the camper. And then, as I said, listen to this. So those are real tile backsplash. If one happens to chip, you can replace it, you know, go to a Home Depot. And speaking of that as well, you know, the flooring is the same way. Those are hand laid tiles. So let's just say if you scuff this one up, you have a kid that busts it. You can pull it out, put a new one in, and you don't have to worry about a whole you know, kind of linoleum flooring, which is always nice. So four of those, one, two, three, and four, the bottom one being just a hair bigger than the rest. And this is a soft close. 
So to give you another view of that, nice soft touch there. More storage with that little thing. I guess you put some forks in there or something or you know whatever you want to do with that. Samsung microwave. We all know what microwaves are. This is just a really nice one, the Samsung. And you got plenty of storage here up, above, and around. And those are on magnetic latches. More storage over here as well. Give you a good little view of that. But everything this stuff does, even down to a magnetic latch, you know, on a cabinet door, something insignificant like that is gonna just help you in just having it more of a touch of home, even though you're kind of driving around on the road. You also have a little bit of areas, you know, up above and around that you could put some additional little knickknack items up there. Big time storage up above the refrigerator here. And this refrigerator, the Samsung 10 year warranty on that bad boy, but check out the size of this. This camper is getting prepped up to get picked up here after the weekend. So we haven't quite, you know, set up everything, but you got all your shelving, you know, right in there for now. This will be ready for the customer, you know, here in a couple days. You also have some nice freezer compartments. You got two of those right there. To the left of the refrigerator. Nice little pantry going on. Some additional storage. These are all pull-out trays. So it makes it all nice and easy for you. Give you another look here at this kitchen. Then we'll kind of move on. Keep working our way around. That's just a sharp kitchen. I love the rear kitchens. I think it's just cool that, you know, it kind of encompasses the whole family. You know, while you're in here, you can have your occasional person sleep over. You know, you got a couch that pulls out to, I would say, right about there. Your desk, your table, which you can pull out and insert a little leaflet so you can sit for. But, you know, while you're kind of cleaning up or cooking dinner, you can still be part of the living room with this floor plan. So you can still watch your movie, listen to some music, you know, kind of be a part of it with everybody. So these slides, they are large, they're deep, and they are wide. You got your actual solid surface, solid wood right there. Again, nice residential feel to this. That is glass. So I put this window in a couple different modes. Right here, you have your day shade. Over here, you have your nightshade. And then, of course, you know, you can kind of get rid of it to see these absolutely you know, massive windows. So you got your dinette right here. To uh, make this larger, you simply just grab it and you pull out. And then underneath the bed, which we have stowed away at the moment, is a leaflet so you can do, you put them right here. And there's also chairs underneath that bed or it's in that outside storage, uh, but really neat. Underneath here, you got a bunch of these cubbies. You got three on this side. Three on that side. USB and outlets. Nice little desk setup. So a lot of traveling nurses buy these. You know, something they want something a little bit nicer than, uh, you know, kind of the hotel that they're doing. And heck, for the same price, probably about four nights in a hotel, you know, you have this for an entire month. So that's why a lot of people are heading that way, especially with COVID. There's so many extra people you know, kind of working on the road and they don't want to deal with all that crapola all the hotels are putting you through. All right, spin around over here. We have some nice reclining chairs. Those are very comfortable. I've slept in many just like that. Again, that couch pulls on out. And as you can see, this is really nice and open right here with a nice floor. More windows all around. And you got storage up above that goes all the way from left to right. Fireplace that goes all the way up to 100 degrees. And you can also 
you know, kind of mess around with some of the light settings if you choose as well. This happens to be my personal favorite, but uh, you can go with the blue or more of an actual fireplace kind of look to it. The Riverstone Legacies feature JBL sound system. So, you know, everyone's familiar with JBL. Those things get absolutely bumping if you would like to. And then you got a little bit of storage. And then behind the TV, you actually have a subwoofer, you know, by JBL as well, which is right there. So serious sound system in this thing. This unit is a bath and a half. And in this bathroom, you also get a washer and dryer. Fantastic fan right up there, which the controls for that are right here. Oh, got to open it first. Well, heck, I don't mess around with that too much, but as you can see, I just opened it. You hit the other one, you got the fan, you're zipping around. You got a really good small sink right here, so it doesn't take up too much room. Again, solid surface. You also have a little bit of storage. Got some tiles, and this is a good opportunity to see, you know, the tile. Those are not just little chintzy tiles. Those are nice and thick. You have outlets. Building up the guns, down 33 pounds now in just over a month. So crushing it. Just had a baby girl. Trying to get a little healthier for her. Now, this is pretty cool. So in the bedroom, this is actually kind of a laundry chute. So there's a door, which I'll show you here in a little bit. But you throw your laundry in there. And then, uh, you know, you can pull it out down in here and then bada bing, bada boom, toss it right in. Well, those are residential. It's a stackable washer and dryer, Splendid, Splendide, however you want to say it, tomato, tomato. They are nice to have. And then up here, this is, you know, quite high up there. I'm six feet tall and that's about as far as I can reach, but you have some extra storage for some stowaway items. And then check this out. I think that looks sharp with that accent lighting there behind. You got your stairs. You got some light ups right here. Handle. A little bit more storage. I won't go too much into this portion, but you have your Firefly system, which you can also access access you know from your phone with the uh, Myra app, Lightmaster. Boom, shut off all the lights with one click of a button. Set your different temperatures. Get some statistics on the electric. Your lights, of course, you can do each individual light. HVAC, so this is nice. You can set three different temperatures for three different rooms. So if you like your bedroom a little bit cooler where you sleep, you know, drop that down a little bit. And this is on an energy management system, so it'll kick it on when it needs to appropriately and keep the, uh, you know, the other ones off when uh, you don't need them. Everything's color coded for the slides, but that kind of gives you a nice little brief intro to that. Bedroom, absolutely beautiful. You have this great little area with a window, you know, for your TV. So that way you guys can watch a movie at night, kick back and relax. But you also have, you know, plenty of additional storage up here. And you have three more right there. That right here is the door for the laundry chute, I call it. So, yeah, you drop your clothes right in there. It pops off inside the bathroom. You put it right in the dishwasher. Bada bing, bada boom. You're good to go. A cadet wall heater, and that thing gets roasting. It's a very fancy space heater. And it, uh, you know, helps keep this thing warm in the winter. You know, if you want it toasted up a little bit faster than usual. USBs and outlets, USBs and outlets. And then you got some storage here. Under the bed, a lot of good storage. That's that insert for uh, the table, which I was telling you. And then this bathroom is definitely one of my favorite bathrooms. First off, you have, you know, kind of a couple's sink right here. So you got two sinks. Plenty of storage. They switched it up went with that black look right there, which is looking sharp. Nice big mirror. And then, you know, you can turn off the ceiling lights and see how this is lit up. 
you can turn that accent lighting off. But it's a really nice little touch this is the to it. Outlets right here, outlets right here. Six of those. Obviously you got more storage over there. And then check out the look of the shower. I just think this looks sharp. If you want to sit down, shave your legs, do whatever you got to do, that folds down. And to put it back up, all you do is lift. So really nice and secure. And if you guys are digging the video or found it helpful in any way, if you guys could hit that like or subscribe button, maybe drop a comment with uh, some stuff that I can do differently for next time, you know, I would greatly appreciate it. And once again, in case you forgot, it's the 2022 Riverstone Legacy 39 RKFB. So this is your closet. It is a walk-in closet. You got a cedar backing here where you can hang up your clothes with these little octopus fellas. You also got some room for some hanging clothes over here to the left, your Dyson vacuum, and some area for some hanging clothes over to your right. Give you one more peek around the inside, then I'm going to spend a couple moments on the outside with you. And then uh, I'm going to get on out of here. Got a Halloween party tonight, so pretty excited. I think we're dressing up as cat dog. So we'll see how that works out. I'm not sure how a costume for cat dog is, but my lady is a magician and she... Uh, she always pulls through in the clutch with stuff like that. All right, so now back around the outside, and we'll start off. You know, you have these solid, solid entry steps right there. Absolutely massive pass-through storage. You do have a couple outlets right over here as well. You got the crimson paint job, and you got two awnings, and those are metal wraps, so when they're closed up, they don't have to worry about the elements kind of banging and clanking on them. You're ready to roll. Also, all, every slide, except for this one, has the metal wrap slide toppers as well. Got your frameless windows. This is a dual axle unit. Give you a view of this slide right here. You got the LED lights running underneath. This customer opted for the outside TV. Now, in order to get the outside speakers, you do have to get the option for the outside TV so that if that is something that you want, make sure you order it like that. Nice back cap up here. And right up here, you have one of the four camera system so while you're driving down the road you can see what's going on you have your ladder so that way you can access the top this is a fully walkable roof you have a hitch rating of 300 pounds on that bad boy so hook up a bike rack or anything that you want to you know kind of pull around So when we were in the kitchen and I showed you that little garbage can, this is where you access that from the exterior. You also have your dishwasher shutoff valve right behind there. So if you ever spring a leak, you know, you're good to go and you can shut that off really quick and conveniently. This camper obviously has the six point auto leveling. And again, those are metal wrapped awnings up top. That right there is your Truma water heater. Then here's the back end of that pass-through storage. It's all your hydraulics right there. And then what is nice about this is it has a manifold, uh, manifold system, I think is what it's called, yeah. But um, yeah, you can go through and you can turn everything off. So if you're, you know, your bath, your second bath, you know, shuts off. You can shut off each individual one. If your sink springs a leak, you know, in the ba in the kitchen, you can shut off that individual sink. So it's a nice, really convenient way. So it doesn't just ruin a trip, you know, if something's happened. You shut off that one area to the camper, and then, you know, you kind of continue on. This is one of the, sam the cameras as well. So there's one here, 
one on the other side, one above the door, and then one in the back. You have your air ride suspension. That's a really nice quick tour of the 2022 Riverstone Legacy 39 RKFB. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See ya.